Hi, I'm Paul, and this is The Golf Show. Hi everyone, I'm Paul Hemlin. Welcome to The Golf Show. On the show this week, we're going to revert back to the magazine format where we've got four or five different segments to entertain you. We're going to review the new Puma RSG golf shoes. I'm wearing them now. I've been wearing them for a couple of weeks. We're going to see how I'm getting on with those. We've got our regular rules feature. We've got our subscriber showcase feature where you guys get to be the star of the show. And we've got a great video for you today. And we've still got Rory McIlroy shirts to give away. I can't believe it. We're almost at 1,000 subscribers. Once we get to 1,000, I'm going to ship that shirt anywhere in the world. I'd like to say thank you to all our existing subscribers. If you are new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button. So that, what's going on? Do you film that in the background? Yeah. I just... Wait. I was just thanking our subscribers there, but some guys just chipped in on the 17th. So we got super distracted by that. So I'd like to say thank you to all our subscribers. I really appreciate your support. If you are new to this channel, please give us a like, hit that subscribe button to see our content that's coming out each week. Okay, that's more than enough from me. Let's get on with the golf show. Okay, so these are the new Puma RSGs. They were inspired by the Puma RSX running shoe. Bold and bulky is how they're marketing them. They certainly are. Look at the width on that sole. Really nice shoes. I've had these for about a month. They clean up really easily. They've got a seam sealed upper there so they're fully waterproof which is guaranteed for a year they've got a sock liner in there as well so it gives you lots of support carbon lugs on the sole plenty of grip there I've played with these in wet conditions didn't slip at all no blisters but there's one thing you need to mind out for Puma say you need to size up half a size I'm a size 9 in a Footjoy I'm a 9.5 in a Nike I'm a 9 wide in an Adidas I got the 9s they were no good far too small I've got the nine and a half, that was really small, so I've gone for a size 10. So I would recommend going one size up in these. Very comfortable shoes, they come in six different colour options, and they're 89 pounds, which is really good for a pair of golf shoes of this quality. These could be the best golf shoes I've tested this year. I've had no blisters, loads of comfort, loads of support. 89 pounds, I think that's a pretty good looking shoe. It's a crossover shoe, so you could wear it off the course as a trainer. Some nice different colour options there, they're not all quite as bright as these. So that's the Puma RSG, I've tried them out on the course, I've tried them out when I've been walking, but I really like these. Okay, so I'm actually playing golf today, I'm watching it, I'm over at Carnoustie at the AIG Women's Open. I've had the Pumas on all day, I've been walking through the rough, I've been walking around the course, and they're really comfortable. So, so far, so good from these. Out of the box, not a single blister, unlike the Foot Joys and the Adidas that I reviewed earlier on in the year. So, okay, I'll go first. Not a bad chip, but I've hit the wrong ball. So what do I do if I hit the wrong ball out on the course? Well, the rules differ for match play and for stroke play. If it's match play, you lose the hole. If you both hit the wrong ball, whoever hit the wrong ball first loses the hole. If it's stroke play, it's a two shot penalty, but it's really important that you actually go back and play your correct ball from where it was before you tee off on the next hole. If you tee off on the next hole, you're disqualified. If you play the wrong ball on the 18th hole, then you've got to go back and play it correctly before you submit your scorecard. If not, you're disqualified. It's pretty simple, guys. Let's not make this mistake out on the course. Okay, so now it's over to you. You get to be the star of the golf show in our subscriber showcase feature. Each week, we pick out the best golfing videos that our subscribers send us and we put them on the show. It could be a great shot. It could be a terrible shot. It could be something really funny. It could be a trick shot. Maybe you're playing at a really famous hole. Well, this week we've got two great videos for you. First up, we've got Luke, who I think is playing the longest golf hole I've ever seen in my life. And after Luke, we've got Chase. Chase's videos come in all the way from Australia. Check this swing out. I think Chase is gonna be a star of the future. Keep up your golf, buddy.
Over recent years, golf has done a lot to be more environmentally friendly. The materials that greenkeepers are using on courses is much less harmful. Clubs are very aware of the ecology and the wildlife on their sites. When you go to a tournament, you can buy one of these water bottles or take your own. You can fill it up at the filling stations so you don't have to get any plastic bottles, which is great. So golf is definitely doing his bit, but there is a bit more that we can do as golfers. I really don't like these plastic tees. They're cheap, I get it, they're reusable. If you drop it on the ground, it's easy to find, but that's the problem. People are leaving them on the ground and they're getting picked up by animals. Wildlife are eating them. You're getting birds picking them up. When they realize they can't eat them, they're dropping them out on the beach, so they'll probably end up in the ocean. So I think we should stop using these plastic tees. Some clubs have actually banned them now, and I think that will become commonplace in years to come. But let's do our bit now, and let's stop using these plastic tees. And this is the golf show. It's all right, no, people do it all the time, don't worry. Hi, I'm Paul, and this is the golf show. No, 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 no. <laughs> I need your game. <laughs> I could sense it. <laughs> Now it's never good when you need a yardage for your second into a par three. Please. Hit that subscribe button. Zach, what's going on? Do you film that in the background? How <laughs> did that not go in? I want to give you Rory McIlroy's signed night golf shirt. And all you've got to do to be with a chance of winning this is to subscribe to the golf show on YouTube. Yes, it's as simple as that. Go on YouTube, search up the golf show and hit that subscribe button. And whilst you're there, turn on the notifications so you're not going to miss the great content we're putting out there each week. Then, when we get to 1,000 subscribers, I'll pick one at random and I'll ship this beauty anywhere in the world. Best of luck. I hope you enjoyed the episode of The Golf Show. To watch another, click here. To subscribe, click here.